Good morning, this is your weather briefing from NWS San Angelo for Thursday, May 9th. Um, the updates for this briefing is we do have an enhanced and slight risk for severe weather today, mainly across our eastern portions of our area. I'm um, looking at the key points, we could see isolated to scattered severe thunderstorms today, uh, like I just said, mainly for the eastern portions, which includes the Heartland, Northwest Hill Country, Eastern Concho Valley, and Southeastern Big Country. The main hazards with these storms will be very large hail, two plus inches, damaging winds, and potentially an isolated tornado. I'm um, looking at the timing of these storms. We could see isolated storms this morning. In fact, we uh, do have a strong thunderstorm out there right now in the Southern Big Country, but the main threat for severe weather will be this afternoon and early evening. And then looking into the long term, uh, we are expecting cooler temperatures for this weekend, along with uh, higher chances for precipitation. Looking at today's temperatures, you can see the impact of the cold front. Uh, we do have highs in the 70s and 80s in the big country, and, and then mid to upper 90s as we head farther south. Um, with this front, we could also see those increased rain chances um, and that severe weather potential, and then some strong north winds behind the front, and some breezy winds from the west ahead of the front. So looking at our severe weather outlook, you can see we are in an enhanced risk for the easternmost uh, portion of our area, including San Saba. The highest chances for severe weather will be east of an Abilene to San Angelo to Sonora line, um, with those highest chances in the San Saba and Brownwood area. Um, like I said, the timing for this, the highest chance for severe weather will be this afternoon and early evening, um, but we could potentially see a strong to severe thunderstorm uh, late this morning. Now looking at those hazards, um, all the severe hazards will be possible today. Uh, you can see we are in the hatched hail for our eastern counties here. The hatching means uh, we could potentially see hail uh, two inches or greater. Um, we are we do have the potential for damaging winds, and then you can see we also have the potential for an isolated tornado east of an Abilene um, to Junction line. Looking at the timing, um, so there's a few things to note here. Uh, you can see that as we go from Abilene to Junction to Brownwood, which is going from west to east, you can see those chances for severe weather are increasing. Um, and then you can see we do have low chances for severe weather in the morning hours, but they do increase significantly as we start to go into the afternoon and evening um, with the highest chance for severe weather in that that 2 to 8 p.m. time frame. Now looking ahead into this weekend, uh, we do have the potential for scattered showers and thunderstorms, um, which could lead to potentially um, excessive rainfall and um, the weekend total rainfall amounts look to generally stay in the half inch to 1.5 inch range, uh, but we could see higher amounts under some thunderstorms. And with this rainfall, we could potentially see flash flooding um, in low-lying areas and in streets, creeks, and streams. Now looking at the extended forecast, you can see that as we go into the weekend and early next week, we do have those lower highs in the 70s and 80s um, and those higher rain chances on Saturday, Sunday, and early Monday. Um, we do have a few days of breezy conditions, but nothing too crazy. Um, and then we start to warm back up on Tuesday, hitting those lower 90s again in some areas. Um, looking at the drought summary, we did decrease um, from a D0 to a none in the area and kind of like the heartland area. So we did see a slight decrease um, in our drought conditions in some areas. Looking at the climate outlook, we are leaning above normal in temperatures for our area and then near normal to above normal precip for our area as well. Uh, those normal temperatures for this time of the year are in the mid to upper 80s. Um, so leaning above normal will be possibly above normal these temperatures. And then here's a reminder of the areas that we serve. In the summary for greatest impacts, we do have elevated potential for thunderstorms today, um, as well as Saturday and Sunday. Right now, um, we don't have um, a significant threat for severe thunderstorms this weekend. We do have a very small marginal hitting Crockett County on Saturday, um, but right now it looks like we're just gonna have general showers and thunderstorms, um, but we'll update y'all if that changes. All right, that's it for your weather briefing. If you have any questions, feel free to call or email the office.